guys, this is Captain Frugal Point for doing, and we're doing another episode of Cover Battle. At this time, we're diving into Iron Man. If you ever go into Iron Man and we're hitting in the 90s, this is when comic books were one dollar. And this is issue 262. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Cover Battle, what Cover Battle is is imagine you're going to the comic shop for the first time, or well, you know, for the millionth time, whatever it may be, but you can only buy one comic book, and you're buying it specifically based on what you see on the cover. What grabs your attention? What do you think of the artwork? And this time, we have this one by John Romita Jr. You know, I've never, I'm going to get some heat probably for this. I'm not a big John Romita Jr. fan. John Romita Sr. loved his artwork. Jr. was, you know, I actually like John Romita Jr.'s earlier work than more than his later work. I think as he progressed, he got more quick. His page rates, you know, want to make the amount of money he can. So I think he drew faster. I just, I think he's, he has a style that I, is a little too blocky for me, and I like blocky style sometimes. Like, Ron Friends is a little bit blocky, and I love just the amount that he does. I think he does it a perfect blend. Uh, but unfortunately to me, Mita Jr. does it a little a little too blocky. Well, here we are. We have this issue, 262. By the way, here we are. Look at this. We're going to, yep, right into 1990. So there we go. Maybe, you know, by the way, if you've seen that ad there, uh, maybe we'll do a ads, comic book ads, out of one of the books in this series, too. So anyway, so here we are. This is going to be from the Armor Wars 2 segment. Yeah, we know we got some Armor Wars coming up pretty soon in the MCU with the television series on Disney+. Plus. I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out. But here we have this cover. This one's okay. He's got his mask off, his helmet, I should say, and it's open. And we've got some villains behind him and surrounding him. It's a little bit interesting and intriguing, so got no problem with that. So let's go from 262. I don't have 263 for some reason. I don't know why I don't have that here in my, my stash. Maybe I just missed it. But here we have this issue here. This reminds me of a classic Secret Wars issue where the Hulk was holding up the whole island, if you will, that caved in or whatever on them. It reminds me a lot of that. Or the classic Spider-Man story where Spider-Man had to persevere and go through. We even had all that weight up on top of him. A great issue. Uh, top of my head, I'm saying issue 30, but I could be wrong with that issue number. I did do a review of that book. And that was an absolutely phenomenal issue with Spider-Man. But here we are anyway. We have Iron Man, another part of Iron uh, Armor Wars 2. He's got all this stuff, you know, this big machine on him. He's holding it up. Pretty cool. I like this. This one, pretty cool. I, it, it catches my attention right off the bat with some action. Uh, you know, look at this style of armor. I always enjoyed that style of armor too. I don't know. Just maybe me. Once again, this is John Romita Jr.'s art throughout book two as well. Not my favorite Iron Man artist by far. But, you know, he, he was he was serviceable. Once again, just not my style. Well, the next issue we're going to talk about today and look at briefly is the giant-sized issue. Yes, we're going to go giant-sized here. The stunning finale of the Dragon Seed Saga. And this is issue 275. So, yeah, we skipped a few issues. We went from 264 to 275. I have some holes in my Iron Man's collection there. But I've never been a diehard Iron Man reader. I would pick some up, read them. Sometimes I might miss a few issues. It was usually okay. I enjoy Iron Man. I like Iron Man a lot. Um, I have a lot of Iron Man books, but I do have some pretty good gaps here. So here we have none other than Mandarin. There we go. And he definitely looks like he's overpowering Iron Man. There's always something that I find attractive when you see your hero in peril on the cover and what he must overcome. I think that's a common thing that really attracted a lot of people to comic books. Uh, once again, John Romita Jr., I believe. JR Jr. artwork here, yep, for the cover it is, but uh, not in the interiors. Different artists for the interiors here. Yeah, this is uh, Ryan. It, it's a, it says it's a different, this might be a different artist. I have to really look into this to see who this artist was. It does look look like uh, similar art to me. So I, it could still be him. I don't know. I have to dive in more and do my, do my research. What? Do research for a video? Who would have thought? <laughs> All right, now in true style of this type of series. We're going to look at all three issues here. We're going to put all three issues here just a little bit in the frame. <laughs> there we go. And remember, you go to the comic shop. You can only pick one. Which one would you get if there could only be one? We're pulling a Highlander on here, right? There can only be one. So here we are. We have the three issues to choose from. We have issue 262. We have issue 264. In issue 275, you went to the shop, you could only pick one by the cover, which would it be? Well, 
I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are and if why, if you don't mind sharing that as well. For me, the first one to throw out is this one. 262 just doesn't do it for me. It's okay, but it just doesn't really do it. So it boils down to these two. Mm. Which one would I choose? Once again, you can choose any. Um, you know, I really sort of like this one for the Paralias, but this one, uh, this one sort of jumps out anymore. You know what? The more I look at it, I don't think this is J.R. Jr.'s artwork here on the cover either, by the way. Uh, this probably is, might be this Ryan guy. Sorry, Ryan. I'm, I'm terrible with names. I didn't do my research. <laughs> Let me see here. When it goes to the, usually there's a page here. It'll give you all that information. There we go. Returning penciler, Paul Ryan. There we go. So it's Paul Ryan. Shame on me. I should have done my research. You know what? Uh, wow, it is a really tough decision here. I let, This draws me in because something's happening, but this one just says there's all kinds of peril coming in there. And it's one of his ultimate arch enemies here. So that jumps out to me to, hey, check this out. This is going to be a, a major kick butt slobber knocker battle. So I'm going to choose issue 275. But that's my choice, not yours. What is your choice? Is it 275? Is it 264? Or is it 262? I'd love to know that. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know all that fancy stuff they say to do because we'd really appreciate it it would really really help the channel uh without you guys the metrics just don't really favor us very much so the views have been a little bit low but we also are on bit shoot we've been getting a lot better attention than a lot of them on bit shoot for some reason smaller pond maybe little fish smaller pond a little bit better i don't know but either way we really appreciate all your help we love looking at these old comics and we hope that you too do as well all right thank you for your time until next time keep it frugal